Someone requested that I make a tutorial on how to clamp the camera to a certain area. So when we're working with certain RTS games and Dota style games, usually the camera is limited to um, just the confined area of the map. You don't want the camera going outside of the map or anything like that. So you kind of want to set up your game so the camera is locked within a certain range. So we can set that up simply by just calculating the different X and Z coordinates of how large our map is and making it so the camera doesn't go over that amount or it can't go over that amount on a certain um, position depending on where it's at. So when you're actually calculating this out you're going to have to um, I would recommend probably not moving the camera, keeping your camera in your starting location. You could do something like create a simple game object and you can move it around. So I can move it to the edge of my map over here and I can position it right next to where I want the edge to be. So it really depends on what type of um, game you're making. I would suggest keeping it within a square box um, to some extent and uh, yeah pretty much just um, add in player collision so your player can't run outside the map but uh, set your camera limit. So I guess this is kind of, you kind of have to work around how you have your map set up and whatnot. So limit your camera to be within a square area. So build a square area and then make everything inside of it how you want. But yeah, for this, this empty game node, you can position it where you want. So let's say we posi position it there. We would probably want to want to set our max Z to that and then you could um, move it like down here and if that's where you want it to stop you could put the other one to the minimum so it would be within that range you couldn't go outside of that and do the same for X going the other direction so we can go into the code real quick and see what I did with the other code and I set up a simple transform.position.z and that's less than 2800 so this is going to be a small confined area it's not going to confine my camera to the entire map it'll confine it to a little tiny area but I'm gonna have to fix that up when I actually go to finish implementing the entire map itself so pretty much for each position depending on if and the mouse is moving down here or up here or to the left or right it really depends on how we set this up so you have to kind of go through and adjust the different coordinates to what you want I set this one um, the downwards to if it's greater than 2500 we can move down that way so how I tested that was I just went to my main camera found Z and I made positions that were um, were greater than this amount and less than that amount because you can see 2500 here and 2800 here and we just flip the symbols and we do both those for Z both those for X and flip it the same way so one is lower than this number and one is higher than that number and that's pretty much how we calculate it with a simple if statement and so if it doesn't um, if it's less than 900 then we can move our camera if not then we can't move in that direction but we can move in every other direction so that's the basic way to set up um, a confined area using that so we can go in here real quick so if we keep going down it locks in there see I can't go down anymore locks in there and see we have a small confined area that we can move and no matter what we do, um, we won't be able to get the camera out of this area unless I were to, uh, I wonder if I were to attach it, I probably, I might be able to actually leave the area. So that would be a bug I would have to fix to make sure that the camera doesn't leave that area. But the player will have its own collision, so it won't be too big of a deal once I get that implemented that they can't leave the area even if they wanted to even if the camera does go a little bit out of range
So there might be a simple bug fix in the future to fix um, the lock on camera. But for now, that's a basic way to confine your camera to a certain area. So if anybody has any other questions or any other um, suggestions for new tutorials or anything, leave them in the comments. I don't know how people feel about the um, first person shooter tutorial, if people like it or not. I've gotten a couple of likes, but not as much as my RPG tutorials and whatnot. So I would really like to hear back from people and see exactly what people want, because if a lot of people don't really like the FPS tutorial, I'll keep focusing on the Dota tutorial and different tutorials or keep jumping back and forth, but yeah, just let me know guys.